Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. We're dedicated to delivering quality auto parts, expert customer service, fast and free shipping, all backed by our 100% satisfaction guarantee. So visit us at 1AAuto.com, your trusted source for quality auto parts. In this video, we're going to be working with our 1996 GMC Sierra K1500 5.7 liter V8. We're going to show you how to remove and replace the idler pulley on your serpentine belt. If you like this video, please click subscribe. We have a ton more information on this truck as well as many other makes and models. And if you ever need parts for your car, you can follow the link down in the description over to 1AAuto.com. Here are the items you'll need for this repair. Be sure your vehicle has a belt path diagram somewhere on the cowl or under the hood before removing the belt. If it's missing or unclear, be sure to draw it somewhere under the hood or take a good picture. Put the 3 8 drive of a ratchet into the square on your serpentine belt tensioner and turn it counterclockwise to release tension. Then simply pull the belt off of any one of the pulleys, slowly release the tension from the tensioner, remove your ratchet, and take the belt off of the pulleys. Your idler pulley is located at the top center of the engine at the front, right between your alternator and your AC if your vehicle came equipped. Use a 13 millimeter socket and ratchet to remove the 13 millimeter bolt in the center of the pulley. Remove the pulley from the vehicle. Now our pulley is still in okay shape, so rather than waste a new part, we're going to reinstall it, but installing your new part will be exactly the same. Simply line up the bolt, which is captured inside of the pulley so it doesn't come out. We'll bring that in as far as we can by hand and then tighten it down with our 13 millimeter socket and ratchet before torquing. Torque this bolt to 37 foot pounds. Make sure that it rolls smoothly and freely. Hook the serpentine belt around the crank pulley or harmonic balancer from the passenger side. Be sure that it seats fully into the grooves of the pulley and doesn't lay over the edge on either side. Wrap the driver's side of the belt around the water pump. under the power steering pump on the other side. Up and over the AC compressor. I already have the left side wrapped around the tensioner here just because that's where it falls. And then from over the AC compressor under the idler pulley Reinstall the ratchet into the tensioner. Turn the ratchet counterclockwise to release the tension. And install your belt over the alternator. Take a second just to look around and make sure that your belt is seated and routed properly before releasing the tension. Removing your ratchet. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.